I'm going home. I'm finally going home. And no one will ever keep me from Patrick and Emma ever again. But this time tomorrow, I will be back home with Patrick and Emma. Nicholas, hurry up. I can't wait much longer. Get your hands off her, I'll kill you right here. Nicholas, thank God. Nicholas, that's right. What an honor, your highness. Just shut up, you bastard. Let her go to her baby. Now! You? That's right, lady. I'm no one's prisoner anymore. Nicholas Cassidyne found me. Nicholas Cassidyne? How? I, I, I don't understand. What is he doing here? It's his house. It's his island. <laughs> and by the way, he wasn't too happy to find out that he had squatters. It's impossible. This was his grandmother's home. He would never return here. Well, he made an exception for you. Me? He shouldn't have sent that video with you and Britt's baby. For supposedly a brilliant doctor, that was a really stupid move. Nicholas recognized his family home, and he is upstairs as we speak, rescuing Britt's baby. Let Britt have her baby, or I will put a bullet in your head. There's not a jury in this world that would convict me for it. Listen to him, Father. He means what he says. Take Call that back off. Oh, Ben. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm so happy you're okay. How come you're so happy to have him back, Red? According to yourself, you're not even that baby's natural mother. And by the way, Frau Doctor, I know that that baby isn't Patrick's. I know that you lied to me. You only told me that because you thought that I would guard him with my life. And you were right. I don't understand what is happening. What's happening, Obrecht? Is that it's over. As soon as Nicholas comes back with that baby, I'm going home and there is nothing you can do about it. And to make it even better, I see that someone did me the favor of knocking you out, so... Who was it? Who else have you pissed off? You want to know who left me like this? It was your mother and your father! What are you talking about? Of course Britt's Ben's mother. I was there when he was born. Is he, is he all right? Let's get out of here. No, so Britt didn't tell you. That's interesting. So did Britt lie about this kid and his parents at all? Was she just lying to me? What is he talking about? What are you talking about? Well, it, it, Britt told me that little Cesar is in my flesh and blood, and nor is it Britt's flesh and blood, so... No, that, that doesn't make any sense. Baby's yours and, and Brad's, isn't it? My parents are here? I must give credit. They are the consummate spies. Violent and deceitful. Your mother manipulated me into telling her what she wanted to know, and then they dispatched me with a clonk on the head as thanks. Where are they? Oh, I sent them to the lab. Run along and go find them. You're right, Robin. You're free now. Free to do as you choose. Nice try. I'm not letting you out of my sight. You're coming with me. But I am injured. My second concussion. Oh, right. Save it. You're coming with me right now. Not. So fast. Of course, Ben is Brad and mine. I, I would have told my father anything to get him to give me my baby. And I know he would lose interest if I told him that Ben wasn't his grandson. Which is it, Britta? Wait, just tell me, is little Cesar my flesh and blood or not? All you need to know is... Just you're answer me! I don't have time for this! Again. And you're in no position to make demands. We're leaving and so are you. And where the hell do you think we're going? Your daughter oh. and her son are going home. You're going back to Steinmauer, permanently. We have to be careful. My mother's downstairs. Another lying viper. Don't worry, I got Obrick covered. By whom? Yeah. You'll find out soon enough. Drop the gun. My usually even temper has been frayed by recent events. Don't test me. Now slide it over. Thank you. It looks like the tables are turned once again, little bird. No thanks to you, Dr. Obrecht. 
How did Robin manage to knock you down again? She didn't. It was my insipid daughter who knocked me out. It's the first time, at least. The ungrateful wretch. Are there any more members your family dropping by? I assure you, Britta's arrival was quite unexpected. Were you still her child? It didn't occur to you that she would come looking for him? You've become more trouble than you're worth, Dr. Obrecht. If you're ready to shoot her, please don't stop on my account. So petty. Jerry's not going to shoot me. Oh, that depends. Where is your inconvenient daughter right now? <sighs> she ran upstairs to try to wrest her child from Cesar. And I succeeded, mother. Oh, my God. You're... Robin. You're Patrick's wife. And you're the woman that tried to pass off that baby as my husband's. Mother. Did you know this whole time that she was still alive? What does it matter? Where's your father? Where's Caesar? Finally, a pertinent question. Now, please, enlighten us. Where is that outrageously expensive and increasingly bothersome uber criminal? Oh, there's so many to choose from. Could you be more specific? Faison and Prince Cassadine. So lovely to see you there again. Now, I don't remember inviting you, Jerry. Please. With our history, I, I didn't think a formal invitation was necessary. I mean, you've been so helpful in the past. Right. When you poisoned me. But I understand that you've since been poisoned. Proof that karma exists. Thank you so very much. I was hoping that you'd already be dead. I can wait. Drop the gun. Or I could shoot Robin. It's not like I haven't done it before. You're not gonna shoot me. I'm the key to your survival. Unless you're prepared to ship yourself off to Australia to just Darling, die. if I can't kill you, rest assured I won't hesitate to put a bullet in your parents. Anna's here? Once again, you embarrass yourself. It's a mere mention of her name and you resort to adolescence. Just shut up, both of you. Jerry, I need to know. Tell me, please. Are my parents here? Well, see for yourself. Okay. As you see, alive and well, and safely tucked away in your cozy little lab, where they will remain indefinitely, unlike the rest of you. What do you mean? Yeah, what do you mean, the rest of us? How can you lump us in with these amateurs? Enough! And much better. Now, let me make it plain. This is not a democracy. This is a dictatorship. I'm fighting for my life here. And you will do exactly as I say. Do you understand? You see, when I shot you at the Metro Court Suite, Robin, it was to ensure the cooperation of the hostages. And your parents are going to hold the same purpose. Do as I say and they remain safely locked away, cause me any annoyance or grief, one of them will be shot while the other one watches. I understand. Now, for future reference, uh, do you want your mother to bleed to death in front of your father? Or she said she understands. Around? She'll cooperate. Why should you care if I shoot them? Huh? Is it because you own the property and you feel responsible? I have to say, it was very negligent on your part to leave the lab unattended with all that dangerous equipment. I smell a lawsuit. brilliant scientist here tell me that the cure for polonium poisoning that is killing me is currently incubating in Luke Spencer. Does he hold the key to your survival? Yes, it's rather macabre, don't you think? I mean, it's almost vampiric. I mean, the fact that for me to live, I have to have Luke Spencer's blood. And you're going to get it for me. But Luke Spencer is in Port Charles. I imagine so, unless his flight was debate. But he'll be there soon enough. Which presents a logistical challenge. You see, here I am in Greece in the final throes of my illness, and my salvation is half a world away. What to do, huh? It is simple enough. Abduct Spencer, bring him back here, drain him dry, and let us get on with our lives. Good luck with that. Yeah, I agree with the prince. 
Not that he's healthy, he presents a real challenge. You two should be careful. Us? You, you mean all white and I? Well, I didn't pay nearly $90 million for the pleasure of your company. If you couldn't find me the cure, now you need to expedite it. That's not going to work. You can't trust Faison and Obrecht. But if I can't trust them, I know I can trust you. Albright and I, uh, we can't go to Port Charles. Yes. Are you out of your mind? No, I'm not. I'm sorry, that is your department, you see? What I am is too ill to travel, so you and Albrecht are going to be my eyes and ears. No, because I don't take orders from you. Oh, yes, you do. Otherwise, I'm going to go to the authorities and tell them that two international criminals are currently visiting Cassadine Island. I don't sell yourself short there, Jerry. I'm sure the WSB would be interested in your whereabouts right now. Oh, I'm very happy to stay completely deceased. Uh, thank you very much. If you're looking for reinforcements, rest assured. The guards are completely loyal to me. Now, where were we? Ah, yes, the cure. Now, rather than bringing uh, Luke Spencer back, Robin, yes, Robin, there, is going to synthesize the medication on site. On site? You mean... In Port Charles. That's right, darling. Your dreams are coming true. You are going home. You're really going to let me go home? Yes, I am. Under the supervision of Faison and Obrecht and the support of Dr. Westbourne and Nicholas, the baby goes for free. How do you expect us to assure their cooperation? Well, I believe that I said that Robert Scorpio and Anna Devane's lives were at stake. He's a scarecrow and the Tyus Max husband. Why would I care? No, Dean Kefkin, don't You have my full cooperation to save Anna. Yes, I thought you would. So, it's settled? Yes? Yes. I will go home and I will continue working on your cure. Wonderful. But, um, there's a catch. No one in Port Charles should know that you're alive. You expect me to go to Port Charles and not see my husband or my child? Well, that's if you want your parents to survive. Was my clear? They're my hostages! So now you're being consistent. Love and fear are powerful motivators. Let me restate the terms. If I see a boat, or a plane that I don't recognize, one parent dies, quickly followed by the other. Now, if you find me the cure, Robert and Anna go free, and you can return to your bloody family. I'm gonna be so close, and I can't even tell my husband or my little girl that I'm alive. Keep your end of the bargain. Cure me, and you can have a wonderful, happy family reunion. Oh, by the way, uh, the same rules apply to you, too. You don't say anything about Robin, or Faison, or Obrecht, or me. If you do... We will know. Exactly. Now, everyone prepare to depart. Do what he says. Wise choice. Can I rely equally on you to be wise? I will do what you ask. Please, can I see my mother and father before You've I leave? You've already seen them. As for a visit can have one when you cure me. Now, are we all in agreement? Yes? Let's go to Port Charles.